Hey there fellow cycling enthusiasts, I'm Todd from Land of Bikes and in this video we're going to check out the 2018 Trek Amanda SL6. Amanda has been overhauled this year for 2018. Now Trek claims to have dropped 40 grams to 50 grams off their frames uh, from their SLR frame which was 690 grams now down to about 640 grams. This technology has trickled down to the SL model which also is claimed to be stiffer and lighter. It's quite evident in the top tube seat tube junction, the head tube and the bottom bracket. Some of you might wonder what the difference is between the SLR and the SL model. The first and, and most significant difference would be that the SLR frame is 640 grams, where the SL frame is tipping the scales at just over a thousand grams. So that's an entire pound difference in the two bikes. Most people might assume that all you're getting is a, a pound of weight savings, which is huge. It's massive in a frame, um, but also you're getting increased uh, compliance in the frame, so bump dampening. Um, vibration dampening and there, it's actually a stiffer frame as well. SL does share a lot of the same frame tech as the SLR, so you do get the dual trap rear sensor, uh, the seat mask cap, which you've seen on a lot of track bikes, and the blender system, which is a STEM integrated system that allows you to put computers, lights, and all kinds of things on the bike. At first I thought this was gimmicky, however now they have Garmin mounts, and SRM mounts, and other mounts including light mounts giving you the ability to mount a light up top or below and a computer at top at the same time um, is really quite a nice feature. A few other things that I really liked about this uh, new Amanda is uh, an increased tire clearance. So you can fit what they claim uh, is up to a 28 c tire and the way they achieve this is a little wider frame but also this new direct mount brake system. I really like this new Bontrager speed stop brake. As a rim brake, it seems to achieve a lot of braking force uh, based on how they've reworked this new leverage system. Trek has, of course, equipped their bike with a lot of Bontrager PNA, including Bontrager saddle, bar, and stem. In the last couple of years, Bontrager has renamed their wheel sets. Uh, now they feature Paradigm TLR wheels, which is a tubeless ready wheel set. So this uh, Monda SL6 comes with a full Shimano Altegra R8000 Grupo, uh, excluding the brakes, of course. The one nice thing that Trek has done in the last couple of years is made an effort to equip their bikes with full Grupos. So they'll use, if they're using Altegra, like in this bike, they'll use Shimano Altegra crank, rear derailleur, cassette, chain, and brake and shift levers, including front derailleur, which is kind of nice because a lot of companies will skimp on the cassette or on the chain little things that most people wouldn't recognize. Mm -hmm. 